Good morning. This is Angela, and it looks like it's going to be another hot day here in North Carolina. We're cooking. It got up to about 101 on my back deck yesterday. Um, those of you that don't live in my area wouldn't have heard about a really horrible thing that we had happen. It was Tuesday, and... Um, at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Charlotte, North Carolina, up the road from me, houses shook, windows burst out, uh, people in their office buildings felt their buildings shake, and there was a house that was on a country club golf course in an area called Ballantyne, and the house was a very lovely home, $1.25 million. Uh, the house exploded. The wife drove into the garage. Neighbors saw her car drive in. And within seconds of her driving into her garage, the house was gone. And neighbors next door had their whole garage doors fly off. And people's windows popped out. And no one knew what to think. And you could feel it as far as five miles away. I'm much further, so of course I didn't, you know, hear or see anything. But immediately the gas company cut the gas off to the entire street. But the police have said that they're not ruling out foul play, that they don't really know what happened. And the, the husband, they'd lived there four years. There were no adult children. The husband was trapped in the rubble for over three hours, and... He is in intensive care, in critical condition, and he may have died in the night. I should have checked before I made this video, but when I was a child, I remember we were um, eating lunch, and our neighborhood shook, and our house window, we had one window blow out, and down the road, a house blew up. And the house was gone, literally gone. There was no footprint. There was nothing there left at all. And it was so shocking to me. I was probably, I would say, eight. And there was a family inside having lunch. And it struck me as such a young child that, you know, we could just be sitting there having our peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and one minute our family's gone. And the tragedy is that this married couple now no longer have each other. If he if he has died, at least he is with her still. But you don't know at any moment when our life might end. And it's a constant reminder when things like this happen that we need to not take each day for granted. And we shouldn't take each moment for granted. And I've been having a pity party the last few days because my... Chronic pain syndrome has been acting up, and every nerve ending in my body is on fire. And I've been sitting around feeling sorry for myself. What am I feeling sorry for myself about? I woke up this morning. I'm sitting outside listening to the birds, watching my dogs enjoy the morning cool. There's no pity. There should not be pity for my life. I should enjoy the moment because it might be the last moment. But if um, we hear about this horrible explosion and hear any news that I don't know, I'd love to hear it, you know, what you might have heard. The police and everybody's being very quiet about what they think happened. It's so rare that a house that was this large disappears. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, it is somewhat suspicious. But then again... A house this large could have had gas fireplaces throughout the home. And if it had gas, maybe uh, two kitchens possibly. You know, that people do have kitchens in their basement game rooms. So whatever happened doesn't matter. The, the man is, you know, struggling and the wife is gone. And there were people injured uh, that had injuries in the neighborhood. 
So, you know, it was it's really a terrible thing that happened. Well, seize your day and enjoy yourself if you can. And I know I've talked to a few people that are recovering from surgery, someone fixing to have surgery. Uh, may you recover quickly and be pain-free. Much love. Bye-bye. I wanted you to hear the birds. <laughs>